Mom! 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 Hello, my people. My name is Meacham, and my mom no longer does everything for me. Your mom still probably takes care of a bunch of things that you're going to have to take care of when you go to college. Now, maybe you're fancy and you have a housekeeper. Look at you. Well, you won't when you go abroad to study. There are a ton of essential skills that you need in order to be ready to live independently. If you're not ready to live independently, you're not ready for university. But I'm gonna fix that. Being successful in university is about more than just getting good grades and studying so that you can pass exams. Even if you are an amazing academic student, in order to learn, you need to be at your best. If you're worrying about things like paying for food or you didn't take a shit this morning because your toilet was clogged, you're not going to have a good academic day. Academic performance is totally dependent on the rest of your condition. Having a good set of life skills means you'll create good conditions for yourself so that you can get the most out of your university education. Do you know how to budget your money? Can you fix things in your house? Are you able to prevent disasters or will you be the cause of them? Your whole life has been focused on math skills and language skills and a bunch of knowledge that you honestly could have just googled but you had to listen to a teacher for an hour to get and none of that has really prepared you for life. That's because schools don't really care about preparing you for life. Unfortunately, schools are measured by how many students they send to university, so more university entrances, better schools. And so they only focus on the academic skills that universities expect you to have. Schools are really good at preparing you for standardized tests like the SAT and the ACT. They're good at giving you the base knowledge that you need to succeed in your first year courses, but they don't do a good job of preparing you to actually live. And this isn't a secret. Students know this. Grand Canyon University surveyed 1,500 students to ask them how prepared they felt for college. And while the majority of them felt that their schools prepared prepared them well from an academic perspective, the majority said that they felt that their school failed to prepare them for independent living. When the survey asked what skills they specifically wished they had learned, they gave some very interesting answers. 60.9%, kinda nice, wanted personal finance classes to be part of their high school curriculum. 41.8% wanted lessons on time management. 40.7% wanted home economics courses, things like cleaning and cooking. And 49.6% just wanted general life skills training at all, something, anything. What do you wish you had learned more of in high school? Leave a comment below, because I'm curious to know what you wish your school taught you. Another study from the Harris Poll showed that these deficiencies can have serious consequences. This poll surveyed students in their first year of university to gauge how they felt and how prepared they were for college. 50% of the respondents said that they felt stressed most or all of the time. And a lot of that stress was due to not being able to manage their time or not being able to manage their money. 38% say that they feel anxious all day. Imagine that, being anxious, stressed, all day. Worse yet, one in four feel lonely and depressed all the time. It doesn't take a genius to realize that these negative feelings are going to reduce your grades and your satisfaction. Half of the students said that university was not living up to their expectations, and many of them were considering dropping out. So it's clear that these life skills are essential to success in university. So why aren't you learning them? Simple, it's not profitable. If schools started to teach you all of these valuable life skills, then you'd be more prepared for independent living. You'd make better financial decisions and accumulate more wealth. And if you did that, you might not be willing to work for low wages. You wouldn't work those extra hours because you wouldn't be afraid of losing your job since you have cash saved up. You might even accumulate enough money to start your own business and never need to work for a giant corporation ever again. In short, you'd be the boss. And that's exactly the opposite of what your government wants. Since your government is bought and paid for by corporate lobbyists, they make decisions that benefit big businesses. And nothing benefits big businesses more than a steady supply of mindless workers who are willing to work for a low salary just to get by. Go to work, make the corporation money, get a paycheck that barely covers their expenses, spend it all and repeat the cycle. That's how our modern system works. The idea is to keep employees loyal and stable by making it so that if they walk away from this job, they are destitute. If we started teaching people financial literacy and time management and other ways that they could improve themselves, 
what would happen. Giving those employees a bunch of useful education ruins the whole plan. Now they can make better decisions. They might be able to walk away from this job or worse yet, start their own company and become the competition. Education was never meant to empower people from a state level. It's always been about making sure you become a profitable resource for the state. There's a reason they don't teach you these essential skills. Now, I personally find this disgusting and I think it's really bad for society and that's one of the reasons why I have designed a course to help fill in the gaps from high school. It used to drive me insane when I was in school that I was learning what I considered a lot of useless information instead of things that would actually benefit me. Now, my school had a lot of electives. I opted for things like personal finance and business economics and my typing course that made it a lot easier for me to get work done. Those skills have been far more beneficial than the history classes or the science classes that I took. But even those skills were not enough to prepare me for life. I mean, I had to learn a lot of things just by living and a lot of trial and error, mostly error. And I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. I've put together a life skills course and I'm going to teach it here at SCORE. We're going to cover things like how to manage your expenses and budget your money, things to help you manage your time better so that you can be more prepared for university, other skills around the house so that if something breaks you might be able to fix it, or at the very least so that you don't break things in the first place. I also want to teach you about living as an international student because as a foreigner, I know what you got to watch out for. If you want to sign up, you can go to prepwithscore.com, send us a message on WhatsApp, or just send us an email on the form there. Let us know you're interested in the life skills course and we'll get you set up. I want to start teaching this course in February and my plan is to do it every couple of months whenever we have a few people interested. Planning on doing very personalized classes, we're going to have home work in a Google Classroom and stuff. Like I want to give you real tools that you can use for the future. I hope that like the things that you pick up in this class will serve you for the rest of your life. If you want to learn how to dress for another climate, how to make some healthy meals while you're in your dorm, or you don't know how to do your laundry, then go to prepwithscore.com. Next week, you're going to see another video from the Chicago University Tour, Elmhurst University. If you want to check that out, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next week.